there is there's this growing body of, of research related to what are sometimes referred to as non-cognitive skills. Um, soft skills is a term for them. I, I, I personally sort of call them character skills without the moral overtones. It's just sort of hard work and enthusiasm. But Kip, show up to win. That's right. And Kip <laughs> actually has um, has these built into their, their, their curriculum on a formalized basis. Um, Austin ISD... Uh, does it, and they don't. They don't call it either soft skills or character skills. In Austin, they use the term social emotional skills. Um, and when I when I think about these, this is the career um, skills that there. Are, it is in fact possible to formulate standards around, but we in Texas have not done it. This this would be the the area of greatest weakness, I think, in the formal curriculum standards is we haven't we haven't actually put this in there. And so things like enthusiasm, things like grit or perseverance, um, optimism, gratitude, which is really the opposite of this entitlement mentality that can be so corrosive to the spirit, uh, or empathy and social intelligence. These, these are um, skills that are actually, when you think about the sort of line blending between college and career, it's definitely blurring. But these are very much um, career-related skills. Um, that uh, we would be wise to reinforce formally in our school system um, through, uh, through, uh, from the bedrock of the standards that exist. Um, uh, and there are states, in fact, that have done this, that have um, built out a standards framework um, in these um, uh, non-cognitive skill sets. Um, so it is it's certainly something I think for us to consider it, um, for you all to consider as, as policymakers as to whether or not that's, that is uh, a, a wise path forward. Thank you. 